I don't know how to like start this. I never know how to start them. Right, hey, basically, we're gonna do like a little podcast mukbang, mukbang gun. <laughs> chat, little stay thing in the car. Normally, I don't mind filming videos in the car, but um, the car's not on the drive today, so people can see Seals. into our car and are watching us talk to our phone and vlog. So, <laughs> so we basically got us have a plate of Let's food. Give them our selection. Yeah, go on, give them the right to go first. So I've got some crumpets that I toasted, obviously, um, some roast chicken crisps and some chocolate digestive. You know what's funny is that literally everyone has like a YouTube voice. Mm. Like I was thinking about it the other day, like, cause you just went, I have some crumpets that I toasted <laughs> and like they stop between every word <laughs> and then they kind of go off on the end. Like I was watching Anastasia King talk and she also has one. Mm -hmm. Like she talks like that. Okay. Is this something that I did? It's just funny. This, this is what I, anyway. Anyhow. So I've got a, <laughs> I'm trying not to do it now. I've got a coleslaw and <laughs> oh god, I did it. Right, I got a coleslaw and fake chicken sandwich. <laughs> You're doing it now. Right, so, coleslaw and fake chicken sandwich. I've got roast chicken crisps. I like chicken, don't I? <laughs> uh, I've got um, diet chocolate digestive biscuits. <laughs> diet chocolate digestive biscuits. Diet lovely. I meant digestive biscuits. I've got chocolate digestive biscuits and I've got a corner yogurt. They're I had grapes, really... but I ate all my grapes. Slow. So basically, we made oh. a list of everything that really like annoys us this week. Don't try that yet. Oh. Things that like just wound me up this week. Oh, right. yours. So the first thing on here is synthetic pillowcases. That mm -hmm. may not seem like a big deal to you guys. Oh my god, that's James. It may not seem like a big deal to you guys, but I hate synthetic pillowcases. They are so annoying. Do you know what I mean by that? Because like I like the like, cotton ones. The cotton like ones, ones aren't like silk, but aren't cotton. Like it's mm -hmm. in between. Yeah, I hate them. Uh huh. I don't even like silk pillowcases, they annoy me. It's like, mm -hmm. you're, you, I'm slipping and sliding all around these pillows, mm -hmm. I don't want to. Please let me just lie down my head on them. And they feel disgusting, like, because like, I sleep like that with a pillow, like, this mm -hmm. is my mum's pillow, I sleep like that. She sleeps weirdly. Um, I hate it. It, it. I hate it. I I genuinely hate it. Mm. It aggravates me. I was sleeping last night, I was trying to move my pillows around, and I, just, I was like, like, these are disgusting. Like, two of mine are cotton and two of mine are synthetic. So I was like, I, like what do I do? What do I do here? Mm -hmm. I have to use all four of them, but which ones do I put under my head and which ones do I put under my arm? It wasn't ideal. I didn't like it. I hate it, in fact. Oh, God. Can I have to weigh in? Hmm? Can I have to weigh in? I just sleep. I didn't read it. <laughs> <laughs> I just sleep. Next thing. Crumbs. In, in bed. bed. Mm -hmm. Ugh! They are the most substantial, annoying thing in the world. I don't think I use the word substantial in the right context now. You try and move it with your hand. You and get, they go everywhere. You get friction burn on your hand, uh -huh. nothing works. Look at that. Just scoop it off. It doesn't move. You get friction burn on your hand. And now I'm in a bad mood and I can't go to sleep if I'm in a bad mood. It just winds me up. Winds me up. So you can change your bedding and they will somehow still be there. Right, and this one, yeah, was on both of our lists. Men. men. <laughs> no. No, I'm not one of those girlies that's like, oh my god, men, ew, girl. Me I mean, <laughs> men, ew, girl. girl. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not one of those people who are like, men, they're disgusting, they're weird. Um, not all men. I don't like to group them all because genuine, not all men. Oh my god, this grinding my gears to the point. And I was in school, bearing in mind, so it's not like I could just backhanded someone. So basically, one of my friends who I've always disliked, he's called me and one of my other friends many horrible words that we're not gonna name because it's quite rude to call someone what he's called me. Anyhow, he said, "Get back in the kitchen." Ugh. Ugh. I was like glitching. I was like, no, no, no. And I was just like, you have greasy hair. You probably have lice. You've got the worst dandruff in the world that I've ever seen. Just be quiet and you stink. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I mean, deserved, but Jesus Christ. <laughs> They're all true though, that's the thing. Mm. Just to sit next to him in one of my lessons. Oh. <laughs> Internet. I was like, you wouldn't be born if it wasn't for me. Not me, but like, <laughs> if it wasn't for people of my sex, it would you would be dead. You wouldn't be dead, it just wouldn't be a thing. Mm. It would be nothing. You know what's crazy, right? Mm -mm. I'll get back to my story in a minute. If you, like, pull your eyes out of your head, I was watching a TikTok. If you pull your eyes out of your head, you don't just see black, you see nothing. Mm. But what is nothing? We really imagine nothing to be black, but it's not black, it's nothing. But what the fluff is nothing? Like, if you thought of nothing, you'd just think of a black screen, wouldn't mm. you? 
Oh what's God. nothing? Isn't that crazy? Like, what the mm. heck is nothing? That's a really good question. And then once you're dead, you're dead. Mm. Like, imagine, like, not being alive. Like, you can't, because you're, you, like, what, like, what's, like, That's you're dead. That's why, in your dream, crazy. you always wake up before you die, because you're, you don't know what death is like. Like, it's not just, like, lying, seeing black. Like, that's not what dead is. You're, like, you're dead. Like, you're, you have no thoughts. You are, like, not a mm. person. You're just, like, dead. Like, I don't know how to get, like, a split explain myself, but, like, do you mm. know what I mean? Mm. Like, you have no being. You're literally, like... Mm. Nothing. I got the trash. <laughs> Lemon's out in the Look, sun. Her biscuits are melting, guys. Poppy, you just tried to get chocolate on that, didn't you? That's what you did that for. Mm -mm -mm. My story, basically. I can't be asked to explain my story. Okay. Alright, now your list. The one that was on my list that really, really was like, girls can be ugly, but, and as, as I explained this to you, you have to have an explanation for this. Uh -huh. Like, I don't think anybody is, like, actually ugly. But so, say, for example, I don't know, I walk up the street and I see the most stunning girl I've ever seen in my entire life. But she is horrible. She bullies people. She just isn't nice, you know? She's but the kind of girl that you walk past. And then she, like... She's gorgeous. She knows that she's gorgeous. Mm. You walk past her. And she was with a friend. She's like, oh, my God, look at that. Look at that. Yeah. Or she's like... You're ugly. You are immediately smile, ugly. And then she's like... Mm-hmm. Like immediately, you are no longer pretty. You are ugly. You have an ugly inside. It's gonna match the outside. Do you know what mm -hmm. I mean? With boys, if I know him, like all my mm -hmm. like, some of my friends would be like, oh my god, yeah, but this guy's so fit, isn't he? I was like, yeah, but he's not very nice, so mm. he's not. Like maybe the guy that everyone has a crush in school. If you're not a very nice person, I know you're not a very nice person. You're no longer fit. Sorry, not in my eyes anyway. Obviously, like you're objectively pretty, but you're mm. you're no longer like you don't hold that kind of mm. what's the word that kind of like. Um, for my eyes. Do you mm. know what I mean? I think like there's a difference between ugly pretty. Yeah. And pretty ugly. Mm -hmm. You're pretty ugly, to be fair. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Good thing. I hate school, but I'm a Hmm. Completely limbed up. <laughs> that joke was almost too much. <laughs> right. Three weeks of my exams, guys. Three weeks of my GCSEs. I am pipping myself. It's alright, girl. I'm so scared. You should go to, like, um, therapy. Oh. I think we both need therapy, to be fair. Mm. 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 I think, like, if teachers want respect from us, they have to respect us as well. Uh huh. None of my teachers, like hardly any of them, do that. I've got like two teachers who actually do that. Maybe that is so three. real. Grandpa. Once you get in year eleven, they're like whatever, you're fine. Mm. But they treat you like children. Year seven, you're right because you kind of are a child. But if you want respect, you're gonna have to give it to me as well because mm -hmm. I'm not just gonna be like, oh yes, yes. If you're gonna actually sit there and be rude to me, mm -hmm. expect it back. Do you know what I mean? So argue with the wall at that point because I'm gonna gonna stand my stand my ground. Uh huh. Or like, I love my English teacher. Mm? English. My English teacher wholeheartedly. He's like the most lovely teacher. Like one of my favourites. There's mutual respect there. Mm. You like him, he but likes you. There is a bit oh, of a well. dilemma. Every time, if you ask to go to the toilet, you're only allowed to go to the toilet once a time. And I've I've said to Mum, I said, if I need the toilet and he says no, I will be getting up and going to the toilet. Because quite frankly, he could not control my bladder. It was, at my school doesn't let you go at all. Do they not? No. It's cheap. You have to be like, to go to the bathroom. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like, well, I'm here, I'd be good to the mm -hmm. bathroom. Um, oh, that's ridiculous. I don't know, you know how to go at all. I know. I can't control where I need to be. Where I need to be now, you don't have to be. Like, even at a workplace. Mm hmm. If you need a toilet, a lot of the time, they let you go to the toilet. What are you looking for? Let me see which one's the break, just in case. Well, I can't wait for her to drive. Smart. Do you know what I mean? My sister just did a theory test. Mm. She passed. Mm. She did tell me. She's got a pass the theory test. Um, but I'm going to be the last one to learn out of my whole friends because my birthday is at the end of the year. Mm. It's the school year. Um, the 30th of July. There's a car behind them, I think, probably. Should I get past? Um, because... My birthday's in July, the end of July, so I'm going to be the last one to turn the age. 
Do you know what I mean? Mm. Alright, Mr. Salway. He's my language teacher now. Mm -hmm. And as you know, I've struggled with languages a lot. He's the only one who is, if he respects us, and we respect him, and he is, like, he is changing his teaching. He is changing his ways of teaching so he can teach us properly. I genuinely think that that's so important. Me like, too. If there's that mutual respect, education is so much better. Do you know what I mean? Like, for example, in drama, you know, me and Miss Pritchard, like, you know, he's really lovely to me and I'm really lovely to him. Because he's nice to me. If he wasn't nice to me, I would treat him with respect. Because I he is. Believe, yeah. And because he knows I respect him, it makes it even better. If you don't like children, don't work. Don't be a teacher. Mm -hmm. It's not hard. Mm. Genuinely don't be a teacher. Much time. Don't know. Or go teach in higher education, in college or university, then, mm. do you know what I mean? Yogi. But so I went to this student council. She kept interrupting me whilst I was speaking. Ugh. That actually mm. really winds me up. Mm -hmm. Just as another separate, when you're trying to speak and an adult like interrupts you, mm -hmm. why are you doing that? If I do that Just because you're an adult. That doesn't mean anything. Because you've been alive a couple of years longer because you're wrinkly and you're old. Do you know what I mean? You haven't earned the right to talk over me because you're wrinkly and old. Mm -hmm. You're just disrespectful. Uh, they always get the meanest teachers to do school council as well. Mm -hmm. like my meanest teacher in our school does school council. How did she not do that? Not something like that. People can't think before when they people don't think before they speak. No, it's not. It's not that bad. It could be much worse. Because I've seen worse. She just goes, your foundation is so not your shade. I didn't say it like that, by the way. It's not very nice. You've got to think before you speak. I want to buy mm -hmm. little microphones. Mm-hmm. And next time we do this. Yeah. You've already you got can, one, ain't ya? Yeah, but you can plug them into here, and then mm -hmm. you can have like little ones that you can hold, or like, you can clip, clip, it to your, clip to your shirt or something. We can get them, and then you can give them to our shirt, and we can have a little goss. Mm. But then you just hear our munching. Mm. Oh, well. We might not eat for those episodes. Episode one. Also, genuine question. Where did apes come from? It's a question that, like... You're telling me trees, aren't you? <laughs> he posted a thing on her story thinking she was really slick and smart. She goes, Why didn't we, how do we know that we originated from apes? No. Why didn't we originate from trees? No, because... You no. sound like an idiot. You look like an idiot. I think you're a bit of an idiot. Okay. We did not originate from trees. Okay, trees. but... Right, I don't care about that. I just care about, like, where did we come from then? If it wasn't... If it, like, no, where did apes come from? Because we obviously came from apes, which is So fine. basically what happened was, there's little organisms in the sea. Mm -hmm. How did, oh, how did the sea come apart, though? I just have a question. The Big Bang. <laughs> the other day I actually forgot I was, te uh, I was 12. I actually thought I was 10. <laughs> I, no, I actually did. I do that. Mum goes, three years, of, three years ago today, I found out you were in my stomach. Or I saw a her heartbeat for the first time. I was like, three years ago. Three It was something. She said. Three years ago, I found out you were messing like that. Would make you three years old. However many years it was ago. I ten think years ago. I stand by. It was ten years ago. Well, that would make you ten. I'm so confused. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was twelve years ago. <laughs> oh my god, you were actually silly. <laughs> and, oh, wow. and I'm so, and I was like, what? That. Whoa. And it took me a minute to process Three that. years ago. <laughs> Shut up. It took me no, 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 no. Three years ago. What the hell? <laughs> Just three fire. years ago, your mum did not find out she was pregnant <laughs> with you because you'd be three years out. <laughs> Bloody hell. Right, anyhow. And then you tried to correct it to ten years ago. <laughs> no. Crazy. And, then, and it, took me a, it took me a really long time. To realise that I'm 12 and I went I think you still still don't realise when <laughs> sun is laying in the atmosphere. Half is near so familiar. I feel used, used to this. <clears throat> Time flies by in the yellow and green. Stick around and you'll see what I mean. There's a mountain top that I'm dreaming of. If you need me, you know where I'll be. I'll be riding shotgun underneath the hot sun. I'm fixing my bra strap. What the heck is going on with that girl? It's Someone not needs to fix kid. her because she's really weird. It says you. I'm not here biting my bra strap, am I? Oh, I can't get it up otherwise. You're a freak. What a weirdo. 
Um, who's excited for summer? Me. Who said Halloween? Who's excited for Halloween? Mm, not overly. I really want to get my summer clothes ready. Mm -hmm. Start buying them. Real. Um, organize the ones I already have. Real. Um, go on a holiday. Real. Finally, be able to wear sunglasses. Somebody get me some sunglasses. I really want some sunglasses. Last, last final thoughts to end the video off. Um, uh, I hope we're all excited for summer, and I am. Um, really bad thought. Okay. Um, summer always makes me feel like I need to work out. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Don't know because it's not good. Right, I swear to God, one of my friends. Has I mean, by definition, working out is good, but slow. I'm gonna go now, um, and I'll see you next time. We'll see you for episode two in two weeks. I don't know if I want to if this cringe if I make like a little podcast by myself. <laughs> it feels a bit cringe. See you guys next time. Bye. Really, my eyes hurting. Can you look at it? <laughs> look at it. I'm serious. It hurts. Look at it. Don't look at it. Look at my eye. <laughs> Do I have something in my eye or not? Yeah, you do. You, you just look at it. Weird. Bobby! Bobby! Let me out then. Oh no, she's going the other way! Get it cute.